Here we are subtracting mixed numbers. So let's look at the fraction parts of the mixed numbers. Notice they don't have the same denominators, but we still need that even when subtracting with mixed numbers. So what is the least common denominator with denominators of 6 and 8? The least common denominator is 24. So we'll rewrite these. 5. Now what would I multiply 1 6 by? In other words, what would I multiply the denominator of 6 by in order to have a product of 24? Well, I multiply 6 by 4, and if I do that in the denominator, I must also do that in the numerator. So I have 1 times 4 is 4 over 6 times 4, or 24. That is equivalent to 1 6, but with a denominator of 24. Minus 3, and then we want to do the same thing with 7 8. We want a denominator of 24. Well, 8 times 3 is 24, and don't forget, we multiply the numerator by the same number, so 7 times 3 is 21. And now we are subtracting, we have another problem. Can you see what that problem is? I can't take 21 over 24 from 4 over 24. I can't take 21 over 24 from 4 over 24, so I'm going to need to borrow. Now I'll take a whole number, a whole from 5, and I'll make that 4. What do I do with that whole that I'm borrowing? Well, I want it to have a denominator of 24, so that whole that I'm borrowing, do you agree that that's the same as 24 over 24? But I also have 4 over 24, so 4 over 24 plus the whole that I'm borrowing will make it 28 over 24. So I'm borrowing that, but that 1 I guess right now I'll make it 4 plus 1, but what that becomes is then 4. The 1 is 24 over 24 plus 4, that's 28 over 24, and then minus 3, and then I have 21 over 24. And now I can actually subtract. 21 from 28 is 7 over 24, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now this is a proper fraction, it is in simplest form, so this format is okay, and my difference is 1 and 7 over 24.